Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, I'm gonna be daring. I am going to play the Apocalypse Mode on the Tsar Bomber, the hardest difficulty, because why not? I'm not gonna go to the little boy, the easy mode. If anything, I'm gonna try the hard one, just for once, just to see what the difference is, and from what I, well, have experienced sometimes the hard mode can be easier even though if it's not intended to i mean it not easier but sometimes i just have more luck i think one thing that changed is that i did not get any time before the alarm went off so the instance that this uh well the game screen loaded i had to come out of here and start grabbing things so you don't have time to figure out where things are before you need to get them Something along those lines. My words make no sense today, but I am scrambling to get the whole family together. Uh, I still need that kid. That kid of mine. Here, daughter, come here. And the water bottle in the shower. How fitting. Okay, where's the kid? Kid's over here. All right, kid, come here. Flashlight. Come on. Flashlight. Checkers. Sure, that's, that's gonna be fine. I think the last one should be about food. Not generally a good idea. Okay, got that, and give me the book. Ah, close call, made it. Not the best selection of items. But then again, as long as we have the whole family, we can go scavenge. As long as we have a radio, we can listen to the military broadcast. And since we have, oh well, we have a map, we have a flashlight, and there is a military helicopter flying next to my window. No, it was just so loud. <laughs> it's 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 just an incredibly loud lawnmower. All of us made into the shelter just a second before the blast. No, I threw the other guys in earlier. Why are you lying to me? Why would you do that? Okay, so let's see what the Tsar Bomber difficulty has in store for us. I don't think it's going to change when we need to feed them, so I'm just going to still assume that we're going to have to feed them on the fifth day. Just that events are going to be hotter. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this won't happen again. Okay, no trouble, no trouble, no trouble. Just, just, just very wary of possible problems. Uh, I think we're gonna start just scavenging. And I just click past that window without using the Boy Scout book. Apparently that's not a problem. Apparently that's fine, nobody's complaining. And so we're left with no photos, no news, no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. Ah, okay, let's hope they don't go crazy. Would have helped a little bit here, but eh, it's fine. Okay, no, we don't need water, we don't need anything. But we're gonna send Timmy. Timmy can do this. He can go into the toxic air outside. It's just going to be fine. At least that's what we're going to tell him. Don't worry, Timmy. Yeah, I know. Everything's glowing green. That's nothing to be worried about. That's normal. It's it's pollen. It's pollen season. All right, uh, yes, yes, tomorrow you get water. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. Well, let's use the Boy Scout book to deal with the issue. Never used a flashlight, though, so I wonder. Wait, why did Ted get sick? What did Ted ever do to you, game? Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. Well, we figured out it's full of pointers on how to fix things. It must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we could even check, we were invited by oh invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of the cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Well, she's fine, Dolores is fine, but Ted got sick. Ugh. Nasty, and we do not have any med kit. Well, even if Ted dies, we still got Dolores, and we just need one adult. Just one one adult will do. And Timmy might bring back something. We just gotta believe in that. That's that's a great start. What's that? Because no one is talking. Uh, we can't just stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Yes, let's listen. Yes, yes, let's listen to the radio. Day seven. Timmy still hasn't returned. This is making me uncomfortable. Uh, we're listening to music. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Hungry. Mary Jane and Dolores. Here, you have some food. Surprise! Ted doesn't want anything. Maybe because he's sick. I'm not very hungry when I'm sick, too. Ooh, Timmy's back, and he is sick! I thought you brought the gas mask so you don't become sick. Well, Timmy, great job. Great job, Timmy. Well, you brought four bottles of water. That's at least something. 
Think we should eat something. And... Oh. Well, still no med kit. I think we're gonna send Mary Jane out. Or... Ted, for that matter. I don't know. Alright, let's deal with the... Cockroaches the old classic way by slapping them with a book. Just smashing them. Ugh. They're so big and crunchy. Alright, Mary Jane keeps... Jimmy's hungry. Meh, meh, meh. It's always me, me, me. Same with Ted. Greedy little guys. Um, let's give Mary Jane some water. And let's send Mary Jane out. Just want to make sure she's fine out there. Give her a better chance. I'm not entirely sure how it works when they go outside. I wish I knew. Wish there was a little bit more of a guide. So you could work your way through that. Uh, Dolores will not survive without water. Timmy is very hungry. Ted's stomach. Why are you guys so hungry? I don't get it. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. Eventually, we're going to have to leave. So we better listen to the radio and make some contact. Ah, <sighs> Please. Give me some good news game. Ha, <laughs> why would it? Okay, the government has not fallen. They're coming for us. We'll be in touch in a couple of days. Timmy's hungry. Other than that, nothing new happening. I hope she brings food. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions. At least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning into the radio? Yeah, let's do that. You should listen to the radio every day. Every single day. Not doing it would be the wrong thing to do. You never know when there's the broadcast. Weak signal, no news is good news. Uh, Loris would like to eat, finally. Ted is still sick. We tried to keep track of dates, but they just don't add up. Luckily, Timmy remembered it's his birthday today. We should get him a present or a cake or both. Let's give him the Boy Scout book. He's probably going to like it. Being that little Boy Scout that he is. He looks like he got the measles. Oh wait, what happened? Thirsty, sick. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Boy Scout Handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Timmy has rested. Well, good for him. He still looks crazy. And Dolores has to drink. Yeah, yeah, we all have to drink. I know, I know. The last thing we expected to hear while sitting in a fallout shelter was a trumpet. It was playing by someone who was clearly not a trumpet player and we had probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life. He came with a friend. Oh, the merry men that which take from, they take from the rich. Uh, they will probably take from us, so we're not gonna let them in. We have, we don't have too much food, but we do have quite a few bottles of water and other stuff, so. Well, Ted doesn't look super sick right now. That's good. Uh, water, Tim in the variable shape, water, water, water. Yep, tomorrow. <sighs> Mary Jane, please bring a med kit for your dad. Nope, she got sick herself. Well, this is just ah uh, one 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 happy family, one happy family that's going to die. Okay, we got one can of soups, fantastic. That is gonna keep us alive a few more days. <sighs> okay, day fifteen. It's time for water. And Mary Jane caught something nasty. Well, the only one who's not sick is Dolores. So who wants some food? Ted wants some food. And Mary Jane wants some food. Okay. Here you go, girl. Dolores is confident she will survive. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, no. There's a flood. Damage. We're getting flooded. Let's keep the radio. Yeah, this difficulty setting is... I wouldn't say brutal, but... Ha didn't have a whole lot of luck yet. It's more like it. Well, we got the rest. We got the radio. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Hmm. Okay, let's give her some food. And let's give Dolores some food. Nah, let's not give her food. She's just gonna come back hungry anyway. Oh, we could send Timmy though? Does Timmy even have a chance out there? Hmm. She might get sick. So I'm just gonna send Timmy. Oh, wait, what the Dolores want again? Sorry, Dolores wants nothing. Good, so just get, let's get Timmy some food, send him out, and Godspeed, Timmy, you can do it. Because your scavenging trip the first time was really bad, so. Look at, look at your mother's disapproving face. She still look at you 
looking at you disapproving even though you're not there anymore. Till Tad still hasn't recovered. At least it doesn't say it gets worse. Okay, Mary Jane could use some food. Here you go. Army broadcast interrupted. Let's call it breakfast. Oh, man. I can't do anything without a map. Oh, if only I had a map, I could let him know where I am. But no such luck. The game is taunting me. We we're sure we could find a location without a map. We were wrong. Well, maybe next time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait. Dolores wants to eat, right? Yeah. Here you go. We're sure we looked through our supplies carefully, but Mary Jane spotted something of us all missed. A seat? A plant seat! I will plant the seat. It will cost me a bottle of water, but the chances that we get four cans of soup are... Wait, what? Day 19. Did he die of dehydration? Oh, no. He has been sick. Okay. Nothing I could have done about that. Here goes nothing. Salt, seats, water. We'll see what happens in a few days of time. Um, yeah, we can wait another day with you guys. Our patience were anything. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside. Ah, the eye staring at us. Let's use the flashlight. Uh, we don't really have a soup. Ah, oh, Timmy. Really, Timmy? You didn't bring anything? Oh, Timmy. Timmy, you're the worst. Yeah, the poor dog stayed with us. Well, we got a gas mask. I guess that's worth something. It's better than nothing. Um, Timmy's very hungry. And they all want water. Fine. Here is water for everyone. We got plenty of that. We can send Dolores for an expedition. That's just gonna end everything. So, let's not do that. There's not much you can do in the bunker. We need to find... We need to stop fighting the boredom, otherwise we might feel like going out to admire the radioactive landscape. <sighs> Let's listen to the radio. Maybe it's gonna trigger an event. Well, nobody's dead, so I guess that's a start. If you put a seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. We discovered if you put your ear next to radio, you can hear static. It's almost like an ocean. Who needs seashells anymore? Am I right? Timmy's hungry. Well, Timmy, big friggin' deal. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Not happening. We're gonna stay inside. All right, let's smash those spiders. Ooh, spiders, yes, please. Mary Jane, become a mutant so you're not sick anymore and are actually helpful. Nope, no luck there. But we get a soup can. Ha <laughs> ha. was a bounty for on? Timmy's very hungry. It's always better. Okay, so let's give Timmy some food. No, we're not sending anyone for an expedition right now. I hope they get healthy again by themselves. If not, Pancake would be a great addition to the team. Mary Jane is hungry, very thirsty. Some water for Timmy. Water, water, water. It's all I hear all day complaining about water. Oh! Her injury got infected. She's in bad shape. I'm not ruining my ex for you, girlfriend. Or daughter, or whatever. Yeah, she's shivering. She's getting worse. And she's a little bit green around the borders. <laughs> well. Uh, Mary Jane could use food. Mary Jane will be fine. She's looking a little bit pale. Terrible shape. Uh, Dolores would like to eat, and Mary Jane would like to eat. Mary Jane... I'm sorry to tell that to you, but I'm not feeding you anymore. Uh, Dolores would like to eat. Here you go. I'm just going to be mother and son. Oh, actually, Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Well, guess what, Mary Jane? Here's water and food, and I'm going to try to send you out tomorrow on a trip. Uh, we were able to receive another message. I still don't have a map because it was ruined by the flood. If only someone would have brought one. Wait, what? Timmy? What? Timmy was very sick. There was nothing we could have done to make it better. Oh. Well, time to give her some water, her some water, and food. Oh, wait. Actually, they don't need food. They just need water. And we're going to send a daughter because, you know, sending a mother would end the game. And she went crazy. As soon as she's alone, she goes crazy. Mary Jane went outside. The Lord's sanity is questionable. Mm, wait. Does she need anything? Nope. What? 
Wow, that plant that Mary Jane has been tending to is growing like crazy. It's also glowing in the dark. We never grew carrots or anything, so we're not sure if it's normal. Maybe it's a good time to collect whatever food is produced. Yes, please. It's gonna be a lot of food, actually. Hopefully. Yes, look at that, four soup cans. I hope the dog comes back, because then we could feed him. Still isn't in full control of her mind. Ah, oh, well. Scratching at the door could only mean one thing, our dog friend is back. We raced to open the door, not considering it might have been a mutated beast, but luck smiled at us. Yes, feed him with the soup. He's gonna bring you epic other things, even though he probably is gonna bark, and then we have to run after him, and he might run away. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. And, wait, does he run away? Pancake, who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone next morning. How does he leave? I thought that we had a door. Water's all that Dolores wants. Well, no, not yet. Mutating rodents are taking our supplies. No rodents. You're not having any of that? Let's use the axe. That's, that's a nice thing that we get, Pancake. Let's hope that we don't scare him off with shooting. Our cans are saved. Dolores will not survive without water. Yes, you will. Always lying at me. Trying to make me give them water. Okay. Now you can have some. And food, you can have that too. Wait. Oh. Mary Jane was supposed to be back. Well, guess what? It's a Dolores only episode. But we can repair the map now. That's something. Never mind, we destroyed it in the process. God damn it. We completely ruined the damn map. We couldn't blame someone, but it's probably safer to say the paper was of terrible quality. Dolores isn't doing very well. Her sanity is very questionable. Water left. Yes, yes, yes. Ha! <laughs> Sending her for expedition. Good one. And still no map to interact with the military. Maybe Pancake is gonna be able to give us cool, bring us cool stuff. I think he only brings water and food. But who knows? Okay. Yeah, she would survive outside. It's really weird when you get the feeling something is watching you. Well, let's use the rifle to deal with whatever is in the bunker. I'm still surprised that I'm still alive at day 33. Keep in mind, it is the hardest difficulty. Whatever it is, it is dead now. And water for the lore is not yet. Okay. When we heard barking, we were at the door in a moment's notice. This time we were right, it was Pancake. He had come back but wasn't willing to enter. Instead, he seemed very anxious. Let's grab the axe. Let's see about that. Uh, last time we took the rifle and they kept running away. Oh no, I don't think we got Pancake. A man with an axe of force to be reckoned with. Those two thugs we ran into while following Pancake learned just the hot way. Pancake was a real hero too. He chased them off and nearly made one of them leave their trousers behind. Not that anyone wanted them. Yuck. Okay, so you didn't run away. Who would have guessed those two would have a respectable stash of water? Forget the trousers they left behind a liquid fortune. For water. That is crazy. No dog yet? Ooh, dripping sound. We can deal with that. So... Since we don't have a map, we are kind of screwed on that front. Unless the military comes and says, use a flashlight to interact with us. If it's only a map, I'm going to be sad. Because I couldn't have done anything. No leak, no miss. Dolores will not survive without water. <sighs> Here, have some water. I feel, I feel very... Still don't know the word for ghost Tsugik. Generous. Generous. That's the word, man. I forgot totally about this word. Doris would really love to eat something. Yeah, I, I, me too, actually. I just went to eat something. It was delicious. But I'm still hungry. I'm always hungry. Uh, nope, we're not sending anyone out. The radio forest has been silent. Um, nope, don't meddle with it until it works. Just leave it alone. That's the safer bet. We're sure they're experiencing technical issues. Yes, that it everything will be fine. Well, no dog. I'm surprised that we didn't get the dog. Maybe next time I have to take the map. On that. Oh no, Pancake come, came back, but he's badly wounded. Some bastard was trying to catch him or worse. We need to act fast and save him. Oh no first aid kit. This is the worst. The dog is gonna die. Or so. We didn't think anything could be worse than a nuclear bomb dropping on our heads. We were wrong. 
we buried pancake next to the shelter in a nice place right under what used to be our white fans we had a thought about eating him but there are some lines you do not cross even in the most dire circumstances you don't eat your friends even if they're pancakes oh someone killed pancake Grr, revenge well here goes my last hope of you know surviving this we do have plenty of another map we do have plenty of water, we have plenty of food, so Dolores could stay alive for plenty more days. Oh, wet. She broke the radio. Good job, Dolores. Someone begged her to sit down and relax. Probably the voice is in her head, but nope. She is now super crazy and brought the radio. Ever since we jumped into the fall shelter before morning about the other door. Well, let's check it out with a flashlight. Maybe there's another radio in there. And the map. That would be a very... There's a map, actually. Would you look at that? Lady Luck. It was very fortunate we had a flashlight. If it wasn't for that, we would have missed a pile of old maps. They're mostly boring national park maps and the like, but one of them turned out to be a map of our town. Well, she will not survive without water. You yeah, have some water. Pretty good shape. I don't believe you. Okay, see, what do we get? Offers four in exchange for a rifle. No, I don't need anything. Then again... Uh, oh, no. I can't have any of that. If, if I could trade the other way around, I would be pretty happy. I would maybe go for the playing cards or so. Since we don't have a radio, we're not going to hear about the military making contact, which is a shame. We do have Skeleton Ted and Crazy Wife Dolores. I wonder if she could make it. She would really love to eat something. Well, your wish is my command. Uh, when we looked closely at our map, we noticed someone had written a mysterious set of directions in one of the corners. Well, let's check out if it leads to a treasure. This is an event expedition, so we can send the only survivor, usually. Well, I'm surprised, actually, what happened. The map directions weren't out to follow. We found our way to one of our neighbor's backyards. Two cans of soup. A pair of strangers probably bandits searched the remains of our house above. We overheard them talking. Oh, okay, that is what happened. She would have been back, but we had bandits outside the door. Well, we don't think we will let her go. She will not make it. Well, what a shame. That was a really sad episode. Pancake died. I couldn't save him. And, well, everyone is dead. And the mother got... Captured by raiders, which is also kind of scary. Anyway, that was the hard difficulty. I think I'm going to switch back to the normal one, giving me a little bit of a better chance. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. He likes it. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And hope to see you around. Bye-bye.